Hello entrepreneurs, welcome to another episode of Entrepreneur Fundamentals. My name is Robert Pitto. Today we're going to talk a little bit about using credit cards to finance your business. I know a lot of people out there have a big problem with debt. Oh no, going into debt. But it's not a bad thing. Look at a house mortgage. Most people in America go into debt to buy a house, and that's accepted. But for somehow, for some reason, if you have a lot of money on a credit card, then that's bad. But what I'm going to talk about today is using credit cards for your business, to finance your business. It's a double-edged sword. You have to be careful. In another video, I advocated that if you have some time before you start a business to make sure that your credit is really good and make sure that you request the maximum amount of credit lines for your credit cards because you never know when you're going to have to use the credit cards to make expenses or to buy a whole bunch of inventory or equipment for your business and I'll say again it's not a bad thing to use credit cards but you have to be careful I'll give you an example from my own situation I started my own business with seven thousand dollars cash and a whole bunch of credit cards I had about 12 of them at the time. I had excellent credit, so I had a lot of credit to use, and I had fantastic deals. One of the deals that I had on, on one of my cards, actually I had two cards that had similar type deals, but I'll tell you about this one. It had a perpetual interest rate of 3.9%. Now, that in the, the land of credit cards is a great credit card rate. A lot of credit cards these days charge upwards of 20% interest, which to me is amazing, given that if you have a savings account at a bank, you're going to get 0.0005% interest. And interest rates on the whole are low. They're high for credit cards because the credit card companies know that you're desperate if you use them and if you carry a balance. But you can manage your debt with credit cards if you do it the smart way for your business. Now back to my example, 3.9% interest I had for the life of the loan. That means forever if I wanted to, according to the credit card company. And I don't think they do that anymore. They offer teaser rates like 0% for six months or 1.9% for a year or something like that with a 3% transfer fee, whatever. But the deal that I had was no transfer fees and I could take a cash advance on the card, which I did, and there were no fees attached to that. And the rate was 3.9% for the life of the loan. So like I said, that means forever. It can, it's up to me, those are my terms. I can just let it go forever. But then what happened around year five, I still had a balance on that card. Year five, and I think the card had $15,000 of a limit, so I almost maxed it out, and I used it to buy product to stock my store. Hey, nothing wrong with that, like I said. So about five years into it, my rate magically went up from 3.9% to 9.9. I'm like, what? What just happened? How did that, well, huh, what? And of course, what happened was the credit card company saw what I was doing and invoked a little tiny, teeny, teeny little clause that was in the, the tissue paper thin list of rules and regulations and terms and conditions that I had agreed to when I first got the card. Namely, we reserve the right to change any of these terms whenever we want. I'm paraphrasing. But it's kind of like a lengthy job description that, that says at the very bottom, um, and other duties as assigned. You know, it means you don't even have a job description. But so, 
this means I didn't even have a contract with the, the big bank who was behind the credit card because they reserved the right to change anything unilaterally at any time. So what happened? It went up to 9.9%. I'm like, ah, oh, well, I still got a couple grand on this. I think I'll ride it out a little bit. And 9.9, it really isn't that bad since I am tripling my money with the merchandise. So I let it go. Then it went up to 14.9 really fast and then 20 something, and then that was it. I just transferred that balance to someplace else, or I, I forget, I paid it off, I don't know. But um, I ended it, and then I closed the card. And I was talking to my business banker, and I had mentioned how crazy that was, and then he said matter-of-factly to me, he said, well, you know what, you're only supposed to carry a balance on your credit card for three years. What? Huh? I've never heard that before. I've never seen that in writing. I've never agreed to that. And in this case, it said the life of the loan was 3.9%. So I don't know where the business banker came from, but he was from that industry. And of course, he wasn't, he wasn't going to, you know, say anything bad about the products that his bank provides. So he's going to say something like that. I've never heard that before. Never seen it in writing. But anyway, so the story illustrates that you have to be very careful with credit. If you have really shady terms with a credit card, they can change on a moment's notice or whatever. And then your business will have to adjust to that. But carrying debt on credit cards, it's very useful it's helpful in the short term and there really is nothing wrong with it if you know what you're doing and you manage it okay and um of course there are other ways to get money for your business the best way of course is self-financing if you have a spare hundred grand in the bank yeah go ahead use it for your business most people don't so don't be afraid to use your credit cards just remember that it's a, it can be a dance with the devil, so to speak. That's all I have to say on this. Thank you once again for your attention. I appreciate the comments, the likes, the shares, and any other sort of constructive criticism. Until next time, remember to always work hard, and may all of your entrepreneurial dreams come true. <music>